Blending the microphone signals from a number of mics can cause phase cancellations, which alters and colours the overall sound. For classical recording, we aim to create an accurate representation of the performance and the room in which it took place, so it's best in this case to use as few microphones as possible. In some cases, the orchestra might have a particular lead instrument, for example a solo flute or a piano, which needs its own close microphone to bring it closer and more dominant in the final mix down. For this recording, however, it was not necessary or possible actually given the amount of time available for setup to record. Another general technique with orchestra recording is to, make, to move the microphones as high as possible to create a balanced recording of the entire room. If the microphones were at floor level behind the conductor, then they would pick up the closer instruments louder than those at the rear of the room. So by moving the microphones high up, we get an overall representation of the entire orchestra. It's possible to record an orchestra using just two microphones in a stereo configuration. There are a number of stereo recording techniques, however. So we chose to use three different techniques in order to allow us to evaluate the sonic characteristics of each method. The first stereo technique is the XY technique, which uses two directional microphones to pick up sound from the left and the right. The two microphones are coincident, which means that they're placed in exactly the same position, which means that sound reaches them at the same time. At mix down, we can then pan the recorded signals to the left and to the right to give a representation of the stereo field. OK, there are two ways to record with an XY pair. One is using cardioid microphones, which pick up sound from in front of the microphone, and one is using figure of eight microphones, which picks up sound from in front of the microphone and from the rear of the microphone. The figure of eight technique is more specifically referred to as the Blumline pair, which is named after Alan Blumline, who pioneered stereo recording in the 1930s. We'll use the Blumline technique using two SE Electronics ribbon microphones. This is the R1 ribbon microphone. The ribbon microphone picks up sound only in a figure of eight pattern. That's because it's got a ribbon that goes down the centre of the microphone, allowing it to pick up sound from the front and from the rear, but it rejects sound from the side. Ribbon microphones are also very simple in construction electronically, so they pick up sound in a very clear and simple manner. So if we listen to a section of the Blumline XY recording, We get a very accurate representation of the sound that was recorded because that's a coincident pair technique. It means there's no phase cancellation and there's very little coloration of the sound. We also get a very good wide stereo field, which means that instruments that were on the left do come out of the left speaker and instruments that were on the right do come clearly out of the right hand speaker. Unfortunately, with the XY technique, that does mean that there's a small section in the centre which is of sometimes of less focus.